is this situation unique to the Chiefs organization because of the laws in Missouri, or are other teams open to a similar thing? Well, we, we certainly think that the Rams uh, uh, organization is covered by the Missouri Workers' Compensation Law, um, and, uh, and, and certainly that may be a situation that develops in the future. But the Chiefs are the most directly involved in light of the fact that we were approached by a number of Chiefs uh, to investigate this and to see whether or not we could achieve justice for them. So the Chiefs are the team that is involved currently. Will there be more players? players? I'm sorry? Will there be more players that will be added? Um, we, there have been discussions with other players, and um, we will uh, inform you whether or not other players join the, the suit. Uh, there are certainly other players that have been uh, injured substantially and will not qualify to receive benefits under the settlement as announced. So what's next, the next court date? Was this delivered to the Chiefs today? Can you speak up well, it's filed that? today, and it will be served on the Chiefs uh, in, short, uh, in a short period of time over the next couple weeks um, if uh, history is any judge of the way that the uh, court system operates. And then they will uh, decide how to respond to the case. Uh, uh, usually that's <coughs> filing an answer um, or a motion to dismiss but some type of filing on their part. And then from there, the court will set a schedule as to how the suit will proceed uh, that, uh, that we will then follow. And did you feel like the Chiefs engaged in a cover-up? Um, you know, based upon the, the published evidence, they were not uh, candid about the information that they uh, understood. Certainly, there, uh, there appears to have been a cover-up by the NFL, which the Chiefs participated in. The degree to which the Chiefs uh, orchestrated that uh, is yet to be discovered, uh, but certainly there was a cover-up about the dangers of CTE to NFL players. Uh, I don't think that there's much question about that. So did players start coming to you guys like after the concussion agreement was reached? Well, Paul, Paul Anderson has been involved in this issue since he was a law student. And so if you'll look at all the books, the, the League of Denial, Paul is is uh, given credit uh, and acknowledged in that regard. He's been interviewed many times throughout the country. And so players have been coming to Paul um, since, uh, since uh, the time that he was a law student. So uh, he's had a lot of contact on this issue uh, with uh, most of the authors of, uh, uh, of the uh, studies and articles and uh, books that you've been seeing. So um, he's been working uh, about uh, in and around this issue for the last five years. Um, and so players have been coming to him for a quite a long period of time discussing their problems with him, uh, but I'll let him discuss that with you. Yeah, I've uh, graduated law school just two, two or three years ago, and while I was in law school, I followed this issue very closely, and I always chose not to take a, an active uh, role in this litigation. I tried to maintain a commentator, and as I started having relationships with players, I learned about the problems that they were suffering from. And I saw a constant theme, brain damage, lies, and deception. And I saw an extreme injustice. I certainly thought that the players were adequately represented. I thought this litigation was going to go on for, for several years, and at the end, the, the players were going to receive a victory. But just a few months ago, the NFL and the players' attorneys announced a settlement. And I thought, my goodness this quickly. The NFL is just going to toss out money, try to make this thing go away in one fell swoop. And then I started learning from other players that, you know, I'm not going to get anything out of this deal. This isn't going to compensate me in the long run. I don't, I don't want to be part of it. And so that kind of tugged at my heartstrings. And we created a team. Um, Chris Martin came to me, and we thought the fight should go on. So that's what this is all about, ensuring that Chris and the rest of the players are, are fairly compensated for their injuries. And let me, just, let me just give you some background about this theory that we're pursuing. It's not something that we're inexperienced with. We were the lawyers that established uh, workers' rights to sue under this workers' compensation statute. And just seven days ago, I received a $28 million verdict on just this theory, that is, workers being able to sue their employers outside of workers' comp in Lebanon, Missouri. You can look it up. It's Copeland. Uh, it's uh, Philip Berger versus Copeland Industries. Um, you can look up uh, the decision in the Western District. It's Gunter versus Kansas City Power and Light. We've been the leaders in regard to um, the uh, the ability of workers to directly pursue their employers in the state. And so it's no accident that I'm here. 
um, but rather the unique uh, blend of the uh, expertise that the lawyers here have uh, that have rallied around these players to try to achieve justice for them uh, based upon uh, the experiences that we've had. Martin, you must know the Chiefs are fans are very loyal. Do you hope to, to have their support as you continue this fight? What would you say to the fans? Well, the, the fans are going to rule on the case. So I'm asking the fans to uh, look at the culture of the NFL and look at yourself and say, okay, my, my kid wants to play football. So the state of Missouri, like I mentioned before, has the opportunity to change the culture in the NFL, in the whole NFL. So I'm asking the fans to take a look at it, um, and hopefully we'll get it to the courts, and the Missouri fans will rule on it. So don't, you know, like I said before, this is not about financial gains uh, for five players. We expect every Missouri player who played between 87 and 93 to join us, because this is about all of us, not just five players. You know, you know, we, we uh, you know, they, they mentioned, uh, uh, I mentioned the expertise of, of Paul and Dirk. We've been called upon across the country to be engaged in this issue. We also represent Derek Sheely, the young man that was killed at Frostburg State uh, um, University when he was put back into um, practice uh, after ha suffering a concussion. Uh, and suffered several more during uh, that first week of practice of his senior year and died. Uh, we've also been approached uh, in other situations which we'll be coming uh, to you with uh, in the next few weeks uh, regarding this issue. We do hope to achieve um, um, uh, changes that will make football safer uh, and allow um, uh, America's uh, um, uh, sport, as it's called, uh, to continue to be enjoyed uh, in a much uh, more safe environment.